this question. When you were playing at St Kilda, yes. did you ever think about leaving? Uh, yep. 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 Please explain. Well, Gold Coast came into the competition in 2009, right. so had because I'd been drafted from the Gold Coast, had conversations with them, but never really considered leaving because we were in the mix, Bill. You were. You so should have probably in, won it in 2009. Yeah, well, Geelong were a really good team. Actually, mm. that's, so when later in my career, when I would play with some of the younger guys in the team and we'd talk about our midfield in 2009 and they'd go, well, you know, midfield, what, were they, what was it like? And, well, we had Lenny Hayes and Nick Del Santo and Brendan Goddard and Luke Ball and mm. Lee Montagna and all of these. They said, how did you not win it? Yeah. Well, Geelong's midfield was pretty handy. It was always the response. Exactly. Like their their midfield was unbelievable through that period. Bartel so I didn't. And Selwood and yeah, yeah. But yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, but two, two, about two thousand and thirteen. So hang on, two thousand nine Gold Coast. Yeah, they came, but it good was money. Never... It would have been good money. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah. Well, I think anyone that went there got good money. Bill. Exactly. They got overs, big overs, big overs. But we were in the mix, so, so you can't leave when you're in the Premiership window, Bill. Especially being captain. That's right. So, had so a, didn't leave. Had a bit of a chat, but not no, really, not nothing. really. Right. But then two thousand and thirteen, once we'd bottomed out, mm-hmm. and it was clear that the, we were going through a rebuild, so they traded away. You know, Goddard left, Del yes. Santo left, McAvoy left, big exodus of senior players, you know, Cozzy and all those boys retired. That's when um, I started to have a couple of little conversations and Eddie actually invited me over yeah. for a, a catch up just to, I thought to talk about, you know, the future and maybe doing a bit of radio stuff. To his all, house? To his house. Right. And he sat me down, we had a beer, we sat and had a Peroni and he said, I'm not here to talk about your media or any of that. I want to talk to you about coming to Collingwood, which at the time I hadn't even considered because you know, I took pride in being a one club player, yeah. but it was a, it was a good pitch. You yeah. know, I spoke about, you know, the fact that you big crowds, big games at the G, all of that sort of stuff. Clear that St Kilda were going through a rebuild. Um, do you want to be there? Is that how you want your career to finish? All of that sort of stuff. Anyway. So then that weekend was grand final week and I was calling the game yep. and um, as like a player commentator sort of in. So did the game and Brian Lake won the normie. He did. He won the normie. First year at Hawthorne from, I think from the Western Bulldogs. Yep. So the next day I'm on the plane to go over to Texas, just as I'm about to take off, mm. the text messages come through. Hey, Rui, it's Eddie. I know you're about to take off mm. for the States. I'm like, well, how the bloody hell does he know that? Yeah, well, who's he knows he's, Who's he spoken to? Eddie knows everything. While you're sitting there for 14 hours, <laughs> this is what I want you to think about. Oh. And he's listed the whole pitch, you know, travel agent, we'll take care of you. We'll get you over to the States every year, you know, in front of oh. 80,000 every week instead of 20,000. Yeah. So I was a good, so for the next. And money and all that? Never, never got to that. Right-o. Yep. Because it was probably going to be similar. It was more about the opportunity and playing in relevant games yes. every week and all of that. Um, so for 14 hours, what do you think I had to think about? Well, you thought about Eddie. Eddie. And? And the pitch. And in the end, but just in the end, being a one club player was yes. probably a bit too Work, compelling. Probably. But I, but I got. A fair way down the track, Bill, mm. in thinking about it. It was a, it was a r- reasonable but, consideration. Well, good on you. You stayed at St Kilda. Yeah. Stayed. Probably not the best decision. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard, Bill. Those no, last few years yeah, exactly.